seen that I've seen that so many times, and every single time I just still love every single bit of it. Yeah, thank you very much. And what is crazy about what you see here on screen? That was actually uh, made up on the spot right there. Really? Yeah. So the original uh, uh, piece had uh, actually required, you know, you know, four more archers and then also a field of targets. Mm. Um, you know, just regular, you know, archer targets. But due to budget reasons, I didn't have the access to have, you know, four more people or have a field of targets. And then also as well, too, think about this. You know, if you're driving by, you know, and you see a field of archers and then a guy standing in the middle, you'd probably be like, what's going on, man? You know? <laughs> No. <laughs> just drive by it's like wait are we back in medieval times now what yeah, is going on yeah exactly so for that reason we can't necessarily do it that way however how i came across the spot was actually from a uh, different unrelated thing is uh my sound designer who's uh, credited in this piece adrian gutierrez him and i were actually out in the woods getting you know some sound bits and pieces you know for this project and i was just talking to him about this piece in general and he's like hey i might have a spot and he showed us the location where this piece is shot however it was super small like it was completely out of the way and it's just like oh man i don't know if i could bring you know a couple of targets in here just with my mind thinking at the time it's just like Oh man, maybe that's not the way to go. And, but however, it came to the shooting day, and you know, we went to a couple different locations, and the piece was not turning out well at all. It was actually going pretty dog shit. I was actually really frustrated. You know, um, you know, I try to keep my composure together, you know, and I had like a really nice, lovely message, you know, uh, from a good friend at the time, Kaikora. And she's like, hey, you got this, you know, yada, 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 yada. And I'm like, all right, cool. Refocused. And then we went to this location, you know, to shoot, you know, the rest of the film. And while I was setting up the camera, you know, our actors, Nick Way, Jason Whitman, and Arya Bird, you know, they were all just chatting amongst each other. And, you know, one of them brought up a good point. You know, I just happened to be over listening. And they're like, man, it'd be cool if we got this done in one shot. And then that's when the light bulb clicked on for me. It's just like one shot. Way, that's way better to do this, you know. Um, and I'm like, say that again. They're like one shot. And we looked at the blocking and it's just like, okay. So it's just like, all right, we can start with our hands bound. You know, that was in the original storyboard. Then we would move up, you know, to showcase Jason. And then he's being uh, followed by, you know, these archers. So it's just like, oh, man, that's brilliant. You know, then the handing of, you know, the bow. Like, okay, awesome. And then what was really cool about this location is it dipped down. So when it gets that push, there is actually a dip. So we could bring that, uh, you know, our actor Jason, you know, down there. And then with the big reveal of turning him around and seeing a target. Oh, man. That's like, woo. You know, it ain't like any normal. It's like they planned this out. It's methodical. Yeah, you think you start watching it, you're like, okay, maybe this is, you know, they're they're marching them to like this pit, and then they turn them around. It's like, well, it's a tar wait a second, and then you you get the idea. That's, I think it was right after he's spinning around, and it 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 goes from focusing on on the um, on the target to focusing on the archer. There's that really high pitched. And you start sing. It's almost like uh, it's almost like the beat up a little. Um, the load up to a beat to a beat drop, because you know something's gonna happen as soon as that whist, as soon as that piercing sound stops, and then it happens, and you're like, oh, it was so well edited. Like the audio was so well mixed that it was it, it was just perfect with the error releasing at the time that the pitch ends. It's just it was seamless and it just makes the shot feel way more different than than m most people thought yes and i gotta give credit to uh uh my really good friend and sound designer adrian gutierrez for doing that because we were trying to figure out you know what would you know be very distorting 
You know, it's just like we can't go back. It's just like we've already built all that tension to that one single moment. And it's just like, what about, I don't know if you have ever been flashbanged or mm-hmm. like, or like played Call of Duty and been flashbanged. But there's that high, you know, almost like mosquito-like noise mm-hmm. where it's just like, it's it's a nuisance because it's just like you want to turn it off. But like once it goes away, it kind of like zips you back to reality. And then once you start to hear that, mosquito noise like fade then you hear like the the high pitch of the bow being drawn back to the payoff of you know the archers are actually blind mm-hmm. yep yeah that that was yeah again it all the build-up to that was just incredible it was so good <laughs> i love yeah. it yeah exactly it's just like all these different elements just led up to that one moment and i really enjoyed it 